so the next one is uh, cancer saturn is going uh, saturn return is coming in your eighth house which is transformation like double transformation is coming up and a very un unexpected wealth transformation of self and occult energy and um, knowledge so even if for the people who do one or you can say for yourself that oh i don't have interest but saturn being here saturn written is coming in your eighth house it's like you like it or not you are going to learn occult and you are going to know certain secrets or certain knowledge about it through someone or through books or anything but you will come that's for sure so for the uh, people who have a cancer ascendant or moon this is going to be also very much focus on your um, health and also focus on your incomes it's like your passive incomes or your main incomes be focused on that and also eighth house represents um something that is unexpected it can be good it can be bad it's up with your with the, with the karma and, uh, and dharma whatever that you have done in your past lives it will be coming back and also and also the one thing is um this is the time Saturn return can bring past life people in your life as well and also you may have uh, some sort of karma that you need to clear out with these people it can be good it can be bad so it, i mean we have to see your chart for that so overall for the cancer this is going to be saturn return you have to very much um, go with the flow and don't try to control any kind of uh, situation if you can't control then just let it go and um, don't uh, don't control don't hold on things and also be careful with the attachments and uh, try to if you are doing any work don't have too much expectations from it just do it whatever comes it will comes for you whatever mean for you it will be mean for you so that's for cancer so the next one is a leo saturn return in seventh house this is going to be <laughs> past life i mean saturn return definitely going to bring past life lovers past life romance past life people it's like uh also for uh the partnership the connection even the public strangers that you are going to meet in this life is going to be somehow connected with the past life and also saturn written here i'm going to bring a very um i'm doing this after a few days now so if you guys don't know why i'm actually doing by three zodiacs I'm actually recording using the phone, so the space it's take up a lot of space, so I can't do the whole videos like one hour, two hours. I can't record that, so that's why. So continue with the Leo. As I was saying, there is a lot of uh, past uh, past life people will be coming in your life because it is at uh, in the Saturn in the seventh house, especially Saturn return also shows you will clear out the karma with that person and they will leave. The another thing is your social network as well, your public fame will be rising according to your karma. It can be good or bad, anything. So be very, very cautious of whatever that you are sharing in the social media and everything uh, because of the fact one, even as simple as you are posting a story, someone else story and you are posting it in your account and it will give a bad impression of you to others and this can affect you if you are someone in media like an actor artist or you you are someone who needs that public attention you needs that public uh, appreciations for your work then please be very careful with this placement for leo and also not to forget this can also represent yourself, your personality and everything uh, with your alter ego. Be careful with that and uh, try to balance it and uh, work with your building up your personality. Make sure, try to be very less in your social medias. If you are someone who is a content creator, make sure you, you are just posting your content and uh, just do your work. Apart from that, don't waste your time by scrolling and... Uh, too much in your social media try to put a track on it and also saturn in the saturn, uh, seventh house and also second house 
second house, seventh house, and twelfth house. This can a uh, fourth house. This this all can represent Saturn will make you walk a lot, like a lot of walking can be happen because Saturn represents walking, and also he also represents he loves to work as a labor. So most of the work you have to do in your know, old style or your even your relationship will be like in old style. You need to give attention and everything rather than just talking in a phone and everything. So that's so far for Leo and also with the your work be careful with your co-workers and everything because it can turn up against you if you are gossiping or you know office gossip don't involve in it it's better you just stay away so that's for Leo so next we are coming up with the Virgo Saturn is going Saturn return is happening in your sixth house the first thing is go for a checkup go for your health checkup go for your um Anything that related to your health, have a checkup. Just go and ch do a checkup and uh, knows about your body and everything. And also, obviously, the sixth house represents uh, Prata Karma, which means uh, your past life karma and you are clearing it up. And Saturn written here will show uh, your competition with others or you are in a competitive, competitive um, exams or business or anyone. Obviously, your your enemies will coming up will will come into surface and this is the time that yet you, you need to be no reaction literally don't give any reaction don't ever entertain them just focus on yourself and that's it because of the fact as i said um i was saying for the leo uh, this is also coming for the virgo as well so the thing is whenever it comes to sixth house it represents that you need to be surrendered you just be surrendered and you don't need to be giving up but just focus on your work even though you have enemies or whatsoever don't try to be competitive with them or you don't really need to focus on them just focus on yourself because of the fact Saturn will actually makes you to be patient and also most of the hard work will come into pay off but it will take signs as you know saturn is not someone who's like fast moving planet or he is not someone who's going to give you very fast result he is a slow moving planet and he gives very much steady result so you have to be consistent so in this time uh, also for virgo saturn be a saturn written in the sixth south saturn returning in the sixth house can represents your work life your service can be taking time or you are someone in the service field such as medical service field or nurse doctors all this stuff your workload can be seems like um, a lot of uh, on calls a lot of um, pressure can be happening so that's why i say we uh, focus on your health but uh, even though you are working still try to focus on your stress on your uh, health and give importance for yourself also virgo represents self-love so self-care and all of this stuff so it can be hard for you at this time to to do that because you seems like uh you're a very career oriented person and very detail oriented person and also saturn makes you very much uh, need picky all about these things and uh, just be careful don't over over pressure yourself because that can affect yourself and also this is directly on the 12th house, subconscious mind and everything. You, know, you can have a lot of um, sleepless nights and uh, this can also make you to have uh, insomnia or, you know, working late at night and uh, subconscious mind can also represent nightmares. And uh, according to Saturn's karma, your karma, whatever it is, it can also show up in your dreams. So the first thing is, be very clear with your routine bring a solid routine because saturn returning represents you are creating this routine to be to be doing it for next coming years in your life so saturn return here he is expecting you to do that solid routine to bring that solid routine in your life if you are someone who needs to have that routine board or something do it because it will actually helps you and then saturn also will brings the people in your life who will motivate you, who will actually show you a path for the spirituality, for the, how to say, for the bring uh, encouragement in your life. 
also as i say enemies uh, your enemies actually will come be competitive with you but the moment that you if you don't give any reaction if you don't really uh, involve in the competition whatever they are trying to involve you or whatsoever they will actually leave you alone so this is why i say just focus on yourself don't entertain uh, anyone or any kind of competition especially gossips or anything don't entertain this is the time that you need to focus on yourself so for virgo people for uh, virgo ascendant or moon saturn is written in sixth house which represents you yourself you are building up yourself and you are building a very solid routine routine definitely represents our most of our life if only people understand this it's like a that is something that create your life your routine is actually creating the life so be very specific as i say if you want to have that uh, routine board or you want to write down your journal also journaling is a very good very very good time for uh, virgo people right now to do it because saturn in the sixth house represents all of this and yeah that's for virgo so next one is uh, libra saturn in the fifth house saturn returning in the fifth house can represents uh, he will bring up your past life talent which means if you have um for this whole 26 years old for 27 for, for 30 years old you have never discovered yourself that you actually love painting suddenly you can actually be in love or you have interest in paintings so if you are getting into that interest if you have the budget if you have the money to go for the classes go and attend the classes because it is one of your talent that he is giving you to earn your passive income through it and also saturn returning in the fifth house also represents for libra, libra people balance your work life and also your hobbies this is the very good time for you to focus on your hobbies and invest your proper time make sure you are um, doing that um, at least in a week one or two times you are giving importance for your hobbies and doing it why because the moment that you are giving interest to your creativity and you are giving that appreciations for it it's like a, you are activating your luck especially saturn in the fifth house definitely definitely represents you will have that theme for your art for your artwork and uh, everything that related to the creativity so for libra people Libra always represents the balance. So that's why I say you have to balance it. If you can effort to go for the classes, whatever classes that you interest, be it painting or dancing or um, poetry or um, whatever creativity classes that you want to go, you can effort it, go for it. If you can't, then I can say that we are living in the internet world. Just try to look up through the... Make sure you are subscribing uh, the... The people in your social medias if you have instagram youtube and uh, tiktok whatever that you have uh, try to follow people that have same interests as you if you uh, if you have the interest in painting then uh, go and follow people who are doing that painting contents and uh, the content creator that you are uh, that doing uh, painting or they are teaching how to do painting basic paintings all of the stuff you can do that rather than you following this um contents that doesn't resonate with you so be very specific of what you want first thing and second thing write down your goals and your creativity interest that you have and go one by one because that will actually helps you easier easier for you to achieve it and also for uh, libra people be very careful with your uh, social circles and with your friends and everyone because the majority of when saturn is looking at it this will uh, makes you to realize who are very genuine with you in your life and who who are not and also saturn brings people who are very mature who are very much uh, going to help you as a mentor or as a you know as uh, as someone okay for example you are focusing on creativity and he will bring someone uh, who are very much a master in their creativity, in their paintings, in their, in their artwork. So that person will come and help you in your life to achieve or to start up that uh, interest that you have within yourself. 
So that's overall for Libra. So next one is uh, Scorpio, Saturn uh, in the fourth house. So Saturn, <laughs> Saturn returning in the fourth house definitely, definitely represents yourself. Because most of the time, for fourth house people always um, saying that uh, you have to focus on your family. It's actually fourth house represents yourself and also your body. Because fourth house is home life and our home is not only the home that we are living in. It also represents the body that we are living in. This is our home. So give importance for your self-care for the self-love for the food that you are taking and also Saturn returning in the fourth house some of the things that I have ever seen is uh, cooking you can have interest into cooking or you make your own meal you are getting interest to know what you are putting in your mouth so the food that the food that you intake you are taking it it will become major interest for you to know so I did am I taking a right food or not all of the stuff and the next thing is a uh, your family if you're uh, if you're someone who is living or uh, in that reputation a lot Saturn in the fourth house also represents change for example people who are living in their hometown they will leave go somewhere even um, to other state or other countries to make a living for yourself so it will brings he will teach you how to bring uh, that balance in your life when uh, you're focusing your career, if you're leaving your home, going far away, still don't forget to call your family and have that conversation with them. Still, um, you know, however bad it is, still uh, Saturn here will also represents that you are clearing off your karma with the family that you are born. So it can be intense. It can be, um, you know, having that... Um, disagreement with your family uh, with your uh, siblings or with your neighbors all of this stuff so be very specific and careful with that be watch out with your words that you are using even though the other person is can say something hurtful it's better for you to stay silent and just don't just just don't have that arguments because the moment that that person is saying something and then you are saying something it's, it's going to be a lot of drama a lot of uh, how do i say that it's, it's going to be a lot of um, disagreement which is going to be not ending so it's better you just stay silent focus on your work uh, saturn in the fourth house bring very solid foundation into your career into your work life because it is directly looking he is directly looking at his own house stand house is his house so he will make make you to put a lot of effort in this in this time and you will definitely reap that reward that that um hard work that you are putting right now you will definitely get it by the end of saturn return which is 30 years old or 31 years so this is the ending of Saturn region so he will give you that um, result if you are definitely putting hard work a lot of hard work in into your work and uh, also for uh, Saturn coming in in the fourth house also represents uh, Scorpio people to discover their family secrets or their family lineage your family generations you will you will get as a dream or you will get to know your ancestors and all of this stuff something that you never know about your family the family that you are born you may come came up to know about it through your dreams or your grandmother or grandfather telling you about it something that you never know you will get to know at this time because certain will make sure to for you to give that um knowledge why you are here why you are born into this family for what and everything so this is actually very solid, solid, uh, very strong placement for Saturn written, returning uh, in the fourth house because he will bring that stability in, in your home life, in your whatever that uh, trauma that you have faced in your childhood. Obviously, it's going to be very intense for you to do that, to, to, to do that healing, but it's going to be worth it for you you will understand that it is a lesson for you to not trust everyone in your life 
because Scorpio also represents a uh, very much intense sign and Scorpio also rule co-ruled by Saturn so you know it's like a double Saturn here so mostly he's going to uh, give you uh, give you the lessons about your career and everything he will bring that solid solid very solid foundation whenever i say foundation don't take it easily because to bring that that uh, solid foundation in your career is the hardest thing this is why saturn written is first saturn written is the hardest thing if you manage to go through this if you are uh, having this uh, hardship in your life just take it as a lesson especially in uh, saturn returning here he's giving you the lesson for for you to understand and go through this life for another 10 years 20 years 30 years we never know we never know how long we are going to be here so the thing is we are clearing out our karma according to our whatever that we did in our past life so saturn return in the fourth house literally presents you are here one of the karma that you are here is to actually clear, clear out with the family that you are born. So always, always think about that. And also Saturn is directly looking at the 10th house and also nearly the 12th house and um, 7th house, the 6th house. All it, It's like a very much strong, strong for you. And also you can be very spiritual at this time. So for the Scorpio ascendant people, Scorpio moon people, this is actually quite intense. But at the same time, it's worth it. So yeah, that's for Scorpio. So the next one is um, Sagittarius. So Sagittarius, Saturn in is Saturn returning in your third house. So third house always the first thing is your self effort. You have to put a lot of self effort. Even when you put self effort, he's going to be like testing you a lot and be like, uh, okay, you're putting effort, but uh, I'm going to give the reward slowly so don't give up it's going to be very intense for you for Sagittarius people but i swear it's going to be worth it and also your communication skills try to improve your communication skills it is going to represent most of it in your life especially Sagittarius look at where is your Jupiter your your in your natal chart in your birth chart where, where is your Jupiter is it is going to be very heavy at this time because Saturn returning in the third house itself is going to represent a very much solid foundation within your communication skills. And um, also, there can be a, a major change coming up in your uh, the way you speak. Saturn will actually um, take a note. And uh, if you are using very harsh words or any kind of bad words or any kind of, you know, the way that you speak, he will bring lesson in your life that may embarrass you in public or have a public shame all of the stuff so be very careful with that Sagittarius people and also whenever Saturn is coming in the third house Saturn is being very strong here as well because of the fact third house represents self-effort so Saturn is all about effort and hard working so this guy is all about hard work and food hard work so he is going to make you put more hard work with your workspace with your studies with whatever that you are going to learn he is going to test you if you really want to do that if you really want to especially for the students or new students who are going for uh, college universities or uh, someone who want to do phds all of this stuff he is going to give you um, hardships or he is going to give you few situation in your life where you have to make a decision you have to make a decision or yes i really want to do this so I have to put effort. So I have to take decisions, yes or no. I have to be very strong with my decision and stand up for it. So that's what Saturn is going to teach you here. And also Saturn returning in the third house for Sagittarius people. This is going to be more so of um, put effort, very much solid effort with your self-confidence and with your self-esteem. If you are someone who who are trying to build your self-confidence, this is the time for you to build your alter ego into a good thing. Ego, okay, here's the thing. We humans all have egos. And without egos, <laughs> literally in this material world, it's nothing. So if you're someone who is going through that hardship, you are going through that uh, very much low self-esteem and everything, try to look up the, for someone in your life or look up with the people who are doing this social uh, uh, in social medias 
if you look at someone or uh, actors or um, any social media or any social uh, any content creators that you seems like you can resonates with them with their contents and everything then take them as your idol take them as your motivation and learn from them or if you have someone in your life be it your parents or your siblings your friends anyone in your life you, you it's like they are motivating you then definitely take a support from them this is a very great time for you to get a support because saturn will brings that mature person that uh, very much known person that very much a very wise person in your life to help you upgrade in your life so also sagittarius he is directly looking at your uh, ninth house and which represents your new study new learning whatever it is you have to put a lot of effort your effort that you are putting right now he is going to reward you by the end of uh, this saturn return so he is going to give that reward according to your hard work if if you are someone for example you are a content creator if you look at someone that person do one video and they are getting the fame they are getting the views everything then you must put 10 videos to get the fame to get the attention to get that result to get that um earning through it so that's how you have to see when i said hard work when i say you have to put more hard work that's the meaning if that person is putting one video you have to put 10 videos to get that and also probably that person is just doing or like one or two or three and then they are getting it right now and then after that they will be like stopping it or they are not continuing it obviously it's not going to work so this is why saturn here going to teach you to be consistent with your work to be consistent with your learning to be consistent with whatever that you are taking up now be consistent and do not stop and you can take rest but don't try to stop or don't try to leave and then go oh i cannot do it this no 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 this is not the time this is not the time for you to give up this is the time for you to do what you really want if you feel tired take rest take a rest one day or two days and then get back to it and also saturn here will give you a very solid foundation with your education if you are this is especially for the students uh who are having saturn written in the third house he will show you the way he will uh, bring a mentor in your life bring a guardian uh, i wouldn't say guardians uh guidance in your life to show you the path what study you have to take which feel you are actually resonating well your interest can be also changed with the field that you are in right now probably you are learning language right now you are learning language and linguistic and suddenly you have interest in chemistry physics biology whatever it is you can have that change and this is the time that you should take up the change so that's for sagittarius so the next one is um capricorn so capricorn saturn in the second house and obviously second house represents material wealth and solid foundation with your spending and also your earning your savings so for the capricorn ascendant people who are having saturn written here will give you solid foundation with the real estate which means you can uh, get a house or a vehicle or a bike as well bike also included and uh, also this is a time that you may feel like you want to save a lot of money but you don't know how to start it <laughs> so for the capricorn ascendant people if you are um trying to do your uh, trying to do part time work or passive income work or side income make sure you do a lot of research before you are investing into it before you are putting your money into it because certain may give you some situations in your life where you need to learn your lesson that you cannot trust anything just like that or blindly you're trusting something no certain wants you to take up uh, more research do your more more research before you are taking a loan for your business or everything try to do it and put effort more into whatever passive income that you want to do and also this also can represents uh, 
it is i mean looking at the eighth house which represents his own house saturn so he may give you very sudden result of um, up and downs whatever that you are trying to invest in your life so that is why uh, for capricorn ascendant or moon people Saturn returning in the second house is going to give you very solid, very solid, solid knowledge or information how to manage your finance and also financial stability in your life. Obviously, he's going to give you that financial stability. That's why he he when he's returning in the second house, he's going to give you major, major interest to save up money to to he will give you a lot of uh, very big goals, for example, like uh, to own a house or to own your first car first bike all of the stuff but if you're taking the installment you have to pay every month so are you capable to do that with the earning that you have or do you think uh, uh, you need to have any kind of a side income so try to do it that first have that side income and also main income and then you just see how much you can budget it up he will bring you a very solid information about how to budget a very good good amount of uh, financial knowledge he will bring into your life but it's in a good way or bad way we doesn't know that's that's up to your past life karmas and everything so if ever you feel like struggling right now it means it's in your past life probably you doesn't really have a very good um, financial things or you misuse your knowledge of financial so he's giving you the lesson so always think always uh, remember that Saturn whenever Saturn is making it hard just remember in your past life you may use misuse that knowledge or misuse or some, you did something wrong with that particular situation that you are in so that's why you are learning a lesson so another thing about Capricorn is also Saturn uh, directly looking at the eighth house this is going to be makes uh, very sudden events in your life I cannot say good or bad it's up to your karma and dharma that you have done so but the good things that i have seen is for the eighth house he will definitely bring someone out someone completely mysterious or someone who suddenly you are you are having uh, this conversation on in on online or internet through internet you are chatting with someone you doesn't even know how they look or anything but they will give you a solid information they will give you a solid knowledge to you about financial stability and then they will be like gone so appreciate that when that is happening in your life uh, another side the bad side of this placement this can be you get into scam you get into you know um, fraud all of these things through online uh, so be very careful with that whenever you're getting a call or any information personal information that you're giving through internet be very very careful and do your own research about it and be very sure about it before you are giving it out so that's overall for capricorn so the next one is uh, aquarius saturn in the first house so overall obviously first house is you every first whenever there is a planet in the first house the one thing that i know it's it's covering up the whole other places the whole other houses it is directly looking to other houses even though the major things we can see is the seventh house directly seventh house but i can assure you it's it's indirectly affecting the other houses all the other houses so saturn being here obviously he's going to bring a very solid foundation with your personality that's the first thing he is going to make you obviously he is going to test with your health if you if you're having this health problem or anything go and do the checkup and he's going to focus makes you focus be very hard working with your work and you have to put a lot of uh, hard work with your um, career to build up a career in your life or even to search for a job rather than you applying it online go for a walk walking try to be traditional at this uh, this time because saturn returning in the first house he is he wants you to put effort he wants to to walk and get the job rather than you sit and then typing and applying no uh -uh. you just walk if you see there is a vacancy you are looking for a job go for a walking dress up make sure you put effort in in your dress up and 
put a nice shoes because shoes represent satin and also try to look the best it's like you, anything that you do in your life anything and everything that you're doing at this time satin greeting in your first house for aquarius people do the best the best it's like i am doing my best that's your motto that's that's your uh motivational words that you should say i'm i'm doing the best so when you wake up uh you are seeing the vacancy uh in the internet and look at the place if it is uh some uh place that you can go then go, go for a walk-in don't try to uh, apply it online rather than go for a walk-in and definitely see the changes have that experience that practical experience more than just sit and applying it and also another thing is for aquarius people is uh, there may there can be coming up a new love life or sudden will makes you to be very decisive about your relationship or what you're looking from your partner or what you're looking from partnership from relationship from how to say uh okay what you're looking from uh from your partner solid foundation of financial or you're looking for a very committed uh partner or you're looking for friendly partner anything so if you if you are someone who's single and you you are looking for relationship for marriage and everything definitely saturn can also brings marriage at this time but there can be manipulative people may come in in your life because saturn will test you if you are sure if you are strong with your decision so stand up for yourself this is the time for you to stand up for yourself for your belief and for whatever that you're looking for in your life you have to make that strong stand up even though no one is standing up for you or there's no one is helping you whatsoever don't focus on that as long as you are standing up for yourself that's what matters this is a very strong placement for self independence and self how to say believe in yourself when no one else is supporting you or so believing in you so that's the major thing for aquarius so the last one is a uh, pisces pisces ascendant or moon so saturn in the 12th house so this is going to be very he is going to test your spirituality as well your um he will change complete like uh, 360 degrees of complete change with your spirituality for example if you are someone who is very religious suddenly you will become very spiritual person i have said this before spirituality and religion is a two different thing so make sure you know that and also suddenly will makes it hard for you to be um i wouldn't say hard okay that's not the word the word i want to say it's he will bring dark side yes this is thing. Saturn returning in your twelfth house, he will he can bring dark truth about the other side of the world, the dark side of spirituality, the dark side of uh, religion, all of the stuff of things which we can't talk about because it's very sensitive topics. But you will get to know about that, right? So for the Pisces people, this is the time for you. He will show you the other side of the the world if okay here's the thing in this world everything literally everything have good and bad things same goes with spirituality and also occult science and everything there is a good and bad side it's up to you what you are doing it up so that's what for pisces major thing here is you focus on whatever belief that you are in as long that don't force your belief on others please be very careful with this i repeat my my words please don't force your belief on others whatever that you are believing it's only up to yourself whatever others are believing it's up to themselves we can't change anyone so remember that for pisces people focus on your belief focus on your spirituality even though with your partner if that that person your partner is not believing it it's up to them don't force oh my god see this is this is no need no need no need it when their times has come to understand that they will understand it or it's not their time it's not this lifetime they are going to understand that or probably they already know that so they came here just for 
living their life and be done so let them be the the thing with uh, pisces ascendant is uh don't try to be that um there's a certain word uh is it how to say fanatic or something like uh you know don't try to be very um causing your belief or your religion or whatever that you are believing on others that's that's the major thing here so saturn is going to be very hot on that and also he will bring a lot of uh, related issues with that for you to get the lesson and understand about it and also pisces people you have to focus on your routine because whatever that you are doing right now also if you have obsession or addictions this is a very good time to leave that and control it and bring it into balance and make sure you put effort into your routine bring that routine whatever that you want to do for example you want to wake up early in the morning then try to push yourself even though it's hard do it sleep early don't use your phone at night so make sure you list down whatever that you want to do and put a uh, what is that routine board all of this stuff or you want to achieve some goals put that um what is that that board uh it's called i forgot that name um mood board is it mood board i hope i say that right you know you put that uh i want to achieve this goals i want to uh achieve 100 marks in my exam or whatsoever and then uh, i want to achieve this promotion in my work i want to be a uh, youtuber i want to uh, achieve this uh, this level of uh, followers in my tiktok whatever it is you can you can do that because that will help you and uh the next thing is also this routine is going to be in your life for a very long time for 10 years 20 years so be very specific of whatever that you want that's why i say write down write down and then you see is this which one you need to correct which one you need to uh make a habit so if you don't know try to try to look up for the people who are having that um that routine that you want to do obviously you know what you want but if you if you feels like very hard for you to continue to doing it then try to look up for people especially we have internet these days and saturn returning in the aquarius aquarius always represents this i mean we are living in aquarius uh this is a aquarius uh, era right now we are living and also um this also represents what whoever and whatever that you are following in social media it's influencing you so be very careful with the people that you are following in in your social media if it doesn't resonate with you try to be very careful and follow and follow people who are motivating you who are doing the, you know i've seen this uh youtube um youtube youtubers who's doing this uh routines and you know i wake up at uh, 5 a.m routine all of this stuff it's pretty inspiring for me for myself so i look up for the people that type of content i, I follow them so it will come in my recommendation so i will look and i will see how they are doing it it's some kind of motivational for me to make a routine for myself and upgrade myself so you can do it that so that's that's up for Pisces people so that's the overall for Saturn written and obviously it's going to be the first Saturn written obviously it's going to be very hard but I can assure you the rewards it's going to be in mass it's like a massive massive result very good result if you are putting your hard work the one thing that you didn't remember about Saturn is hard work consistent and do not give up these three words is all about him so he obviously he's he's a very slow planet so he's going to give that reward later in your life so when the saturn return is ending you will see the reward you will get that fruit of your labor whatever that you are doing right now so i hope this one helps for people who are having your first saturn return and uh, yeah good luck to all of you <laughs> and please don't forget to like comment and subscribe because it helps me a lot and if you notice this is my reward that i have put my effort doing this youtube and if you guys have seen i have achieved the 
thousand subscribers the the requirement of youtube but still i'm going on i still have certain things you know the views and everything i have to achieve that so thank you so much for each and every one of you here supporting me and everything and uh, i i am truly grateful for all of you all of you thank you thank you so much so see you guys in my next video bye bye